so this is record and review method and there are levels of practicing like if you want to practice a voice so anybody can sing uh, somebody can sing shankara varanam sarigama padani sir just sarigama padani excellent see uh, uh kanagoli of chan so nicely okay what what was the shruti ha huh? it was a random no no i want to sing with the uh, shruti and a plain note and a plain note yeah can you play shruti ओके फाइन फैंटास्टिक लव एनी वन कैन सिंग सा टू टॉप सा जस्ट सा एंड टॉप सा सेम श्रुति someone else someone else yeah <laughs> oh, okay 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 fine fine okay that that was nice but in the middle i had some more swaras i want just sa and top sa without any other swaras just sa and sa correct flat okay can anyone sing re and ni someone else uh, no not re and re re and ni a uh, tall the mid knee mid knee not the base knee no sa re re ni like that re ni the yeah like that then ga and da in the combination of ga and da shruti please excellent who sang that viji fine <laughs> then ma and pa which is an easy combination anyone else yeah kalyani came but that, that's not a problem yeah no shoes no shoes no shoes ma pa ma yeah now the reverse of that pa and ma ah pratham you need to tell me that uh, repetitions are coming or uh, different different people are singing okay okay the yeah da and ga now shankaraabharanam shankaraabharanam the anga if you want i can also type i think here so no option no need ah okay da anga okay then ni and ri
Ja. Fantastic. Then tops and Mitsa. Fine. See, now can anyone put, put all together and sing this one? Sa, sa, re, ni, ga, da, ma, pa, pa, ma, da, ga, ni, re, sa, sa. Can anyone sing this? Now, anyone can sing this in Akaram. Very nice, Sri Ram. Nice. Fantastic. Now, this is an important thing. Sa, sa, re, ni, ga, da, ma, pa, pa, ma, da, ga, ni, re, sa, sa. Three, three combination. Can anyone sing? If you want to repeat, I can repeat. Sa, sa, re, ni, ga, da, ma, pa, pa, ma, da, ga, ni, re, sa, sa. Didn't understand. Same, sa, sa, re, ni, ga, da, ma, pa, pa, ma, da, ga, ni, re, Sa sa. Now everything is in two two two. Now I am singing in three three three. Sa sa ri. Then ni ga da. Then ma pa pa. Then ma da ga. Then ni ri top sa. Then coming back to this sa. Three three swaras. Same combination. Three swaras. See, it looks something different, but it, it is all same swaras. When you sing it in three three three. It looks very different. Can any? Yes. Ma pa pa. Ma da ga. Sa sa. Correct. Can anyone try this one? Three, three, three swaras. Same combination. You can write it also and you can try. See. No, for, for, for first I will tell it. See, uh, see, sa, top sa. Sa, sa. Then, re, ni, ga, da, ma, pa. Pa ma da ga ni ri sa sa. This is what I sang. The same swaras. It instead of two two two. Now I am going to sing three three swaras. Same combinations. Sa sa ri ni ga da ma. Pa pa ma da ga ni re sa sa. Extra one sa is coming. Yeah. You want to try it, Sunita? Yeah.
ओके इट्स गेटिंग लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नो नो इश्यूज नो इश्यूज नो इश्यूज एन एनी वन एल्स एनी वन एल्स वॉन्ट टू ट्राई यू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई ललिता मैम या No, no issues. It's just simple. In in between, there are some few errors. That's not a problem. Any anyone else? The 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 trying is very important. Mistake is not a big deal. Sharanya wants wants to try. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's nothing wrong. You can write it, and that's that's very important. Writing is very important. You have to write and only sing. So you can't, you know, keep it everything in mind. <laughs> that's good. Very good. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Anyone else? Jai Shri. Yes. Yeah, Jai Shri. You can go ahead. Yeah, Diksha. So any anyone wants to sing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you missed a few things, but the swarasthana was good, good. But three three yeah. That's not a big deal. Good. Very nice. Anyone else? Okay. Now, now we're coming to the you know next part is singing it in four four things. Same same suras. You can write it also. Now I want you to sing it in four four suras. Same suras. Sa sa re ni ga da ma pa pa ma da ga. ni ri sa 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 ri ni ga ta ma pa pa ma da ga ni ri sa sa you sa sa re ni ga da ma pa pa ma da ga ni re sa sa very nice very nice sure
yeah re what's the problem no problem no issues no issues yeah sure nice nice try yeah some swaras you you have a little bit of problem no it's not it's not a big, big deal putting it into the, these combinations will always <laughs> attempt to make mistakes no issues yeah anyone else yeah who is going to sing yogini yeah go ahead fine everyone else Kan kanagavali is there yeah Oh. Oh no issues no issues. Yeah, you you can try this one. Four four combinations. Oh, you can write it down. No problem. No problem. Someone else can try the in between someone else can try. fine yes good someone else sure fantastic Oh, so that was very good yeah reka and diksha shetty something so they have raised hands good very nice 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 very nice okay anyone else yeah that's all kanavali you, you said you, you want to write it okay okay fine see it is only a combination of sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa which we all in our day to day life we are just listening it but when 
when it is put into a slight different combination see how we feel is like oh it is something new something different something difficult like that we we start feeling we just we think that okay we can do this but you know it is slightly you know we need some more practice to do this so that's how we feel but in our day to day life we are just singing the same sarigama padani soundly so what i'm trying to say is the purpose of learning music and the purpose of practicing it we have to set a goal before practicing what we need to do is we have to set a goal we have you know different types of practice as i told you earlier one by one if we go like improving our basics how to improve your basics like putting combinations in your practice like same sarigama padanisa will be there you can sing three three swaras sariga rigama gama pa ma pa da pa dani danisa then sarigama rigama pa gama pa da ma pa dani pa danisa sa ni da pa ni da pa ma da pa ma ga you can sing this in akaram also it may be a small thing we 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 used to think okay this is this is not a big deal for me i can sing this so easily but when we attempt it we will feel like oh we are missing something maybe the swarasthana is missing no no swarasthana i got it no shruti is missing oh no shruti i got it or something the lyrics are missing why why it is happening because our practice are not defined our practices are not defined we just practice whatever comes to us we wake up in the morning and we sit when we sit in front of the uh, shruti box we, we we just switch on the shruti box and we'll start singing whatever we want to sing like today we can sing akara sadakam today we can sing uh, some kirtana Uh, last week i learned this i i want to sing that there is nothing wrong in doing that but you need to think that this is not a structured practice if you want to structure your practice then you need to know what to practice how to practice and when to practice so these things are very very important just like that a blind practice will not help you to ra- raise your goal whatever goal you have set like someone else or someone was telling like i just want to sustain a note that's my goal for them a concert practice will not be a meaningful one and someone said that i want to be a very uh, you know great singer for them just like that singing a song will not solve her or his problem see whatever goal is there you have to see your goal and you have to work towards the goal so if you want to be an ambitious singer if you want to be a performer good performer then your performing skills needs to be developed so to how to develop your performing skills so then okay i'm working on it i'm just learning from a guru i'm learning uh, from youtube i'm learning lot of i'm i'm listening to lot of musicians that is one great method you know before you know practicing if you can listen to some music in the morning that will cleanse you actually you need to know like before practicing you need to hear some good music and then if you start a practice definitely that will be a meaningful one so that you have to make it a you know daily habit just 5 minutes is enough listen to some old recording why my why i am telling uh, old recording is uh, you know guarantee yeah, i can guarantee you that uh, you know they will not go uh apart from the tradition 
they go don't go away from the tradition in other words so i can name a few but you know some may uh, get hurt also for that but i can you know name some few singers like madhuri mani air or all of your brothers ariya kudi sembangudi like that ms subalakshmi madam so like that you can choose uh, whatever your favorite singer you can choose maharaja param uh, santanam and you can listen at least 5 minutes of their recording and then if you sit, sit for the sadhaka then it will that will help you a lot before practicing you just you have to list down list what are all the things i'm going to practice today number 1 number 2 what is the goal of my practice today to correct this particular line to correct this particular song to learn this new song to revise the old song likewise you have to define yourself first you have to define your practice before practicing then you have to check whether your voice is clear for that without checking your voice then how can you correct that particular line or correct a particular song or learn that particular song or revise it so you have to be practical so you have to create yourself in such a manner that you 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 first you have to be ready for that song for that line or for that song for that you need a voice practice a minimum level of voice practice so to put different combinations of uh, you know uh, that seven swaras is very difficult for us how to put different combination like how i put now sa sa ri ni something like that so to put different combination and practicing it uh, you know will 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 that be a very difficult choice for us will it be difficult of course yes to create new new uh, uh, combinations it will be difficult so already combinations are given in the ganamrita bodhini books in the basic books the already the combinations are given like varisegal that is what varisegal is all about so the swaravali varisegal the janta varisai the upper sai lower sai the tattu varisegal the alankarams why these things are given you know why uh, how they have composed the swaravali varisegal can anyone tell what is the purpose of swaravali varisegal sarali varisai what is the purpose of sarali varisegal and how they have composed it can anyone explain it if anyone know about it can explain it or else i'll tell yeah fantastic fantastic anyone else
Fantastic. Anyone else? Fantastic. That, that, that is more precise. It's more precise. And uh, thanks for all your understanding about the music. And the, the, that, that's what it is all about. Sarali Varasai is all about, like how Anuradha was uh, mentioning, it is something like going one one sara, ascending and descending. So, for first, for first lesson goes like Sari Kama Padanisa, Sani Magarisa. Then comes Sari Sari. See why it is given, there are only seven swaras. Why it is given eight swaras? No, the division will be easy. 8 by 2 is 4, 4 by 2 is 2, 2 by 2 is 1. You can reach 1 by, you know, dividing by 2. So, that's why they keep, keep, they have kept 8 8 for us. So, after the first lesson, Sarigama Padanisa Sanidava Magarisa, then the first lesson will come on the RHS, that is the right hand side. And the left hand side, the 8 for us will be different. See, Sari, Sari, Sarigama, 2, 2 for us, they go. Then Sariga, Sariga, Sari, eight swaras. The right hand side will always be remains the Sariga Mapanisa and Sanida of Magarisa only. The fourth lesson is Sarigama, Sarigama, then Sariga Mapanisa, then Sarigama Pa, Sari, Sarigama Panisa, five swaras they deal, then six swaras. Sarigama Pa the So they go Sora they go with one one up Sora. So to improve your voice level, step by step they have done this. So, sincerely, if you attempt to practice it on a regular basis, will definitely improve your swarasthana, improve your shruti, and improve your patterns also. So, that is why swaravali varsikal is given. Why janta varsikal? Janta is nothing but two-two swaras, that's it. It can be sung in, you know, uh, can someone else uh, on the Shruti, Pradna? Sa, 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 ri, ri, ga, ga, ma, ma, pa, pa, da, da, ni, ni, sa, 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 ni, ni, da, da, pa, pa, ma, ma, ga, ga, ri, ri, sa, sa. This is the just dent of say. Sa sa ri ri ga ga ma ma pa pa da da ni ni sa 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 ni ni da da pa pa ma ma ga ga ri ri sa sa. What is the difference? Can anyone tell? Correct. Uh, Sri Ram was telling something. Correct. Exactly. So, Janta Versa can be sung in two different ways. This is, I am telling only about these Swaras. It has nothing to do with Akara, Ikara, Ukara, Sadhguru, nothing else. I am con concentrating only on these Swaras. Only on these Swaras itself, we have a lot of things to do. That's what I mean to say. Only on the swara basis, lot of things are already given. So, Janta verse is given to improve the double swaras. And like how uh, Sri Ram was uh, mentioning and Anuradha was mentioning, it is something to, you know, beat the other swaras. Giving stress on the second swara. That's the two, two patterns it can be sung. And why? upper sthai to improve the top swaras. Why lower sthai to improve the base swaras? Why thought verse is given? Can anyone tell? Why? Yeah, maybe. Uh, someone else?
எக்ஸலண்ட் பேட்டர்ன் ஃபார்மேஷன் சி தாட்டு வரிசை இஸ் தி ஒன் பியூட்டிஃபுல் திங் வேர் இன் யூ கேன் ஃபார்ம் அ பேட்டர்ன் இட் இஸ் வெரி வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் யூனோ கான்சர்ட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் இஃப் சம்மோனு வாண்ட்ஸ் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் தர் கான் கான்சர்ட் லெவல் தே நீட் டு ப்ராக்டிஸ் தாட்டு வரிசை ஆன் அ ரெகுலர் பேசிஸ் தே ப்ராக்டிஸ் தாட்டு வரிசை ஆன் அ ரெகுலர் பேசிஸ் தென் தர் மனோதர்மா வில் இம்ப்ரூவ் லைக் எனி திங் எக்ஸலண்ட் எக்ஸலண்ட் ஸ்ரீராம் ஸோ தென் அலங்காரம்ஸ் ஒய் அலங்காரம்ஸ் ஆர் டிசைன்டு எக்ஸலண்ட் தட்ஸ் இட் தட் இஸ் தி மெயின் திங் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு தே ஹவ் மேட் தி பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் ஃபார் அஸ் டு ப்ராக்டிஸ் so the basic practice itself it has lot of things so if someone wants to say that i want to improve my basics first they have to understand all these things they have to practice this one by one one by one one by one they have to go so before going into the practice mode first as i told you you have to write what are all the things to be practiced on a daily basis and then you have to keep on writing that i am going to practice something for my voice what is that swaravali varisaigal in a in second speed or third speed in a second speed or third speed you need to practice it you have to practice the swaras you have to practice in akaram you have to practice in nikaram you have to practice in ukaram that you have to do on a regular basis after doing this if you have time you can go to the next verses or if you don't have time you have to stick on to your goal that is i want to learn this line particular line or i want to learn this particular song so you have to stick on to that first thing is the very first thing what you have to do is you have to listen to a very nice recording of a great musician's music so that's that's what you have to do at the start of the practice before the start of the practice after that when you start the practice you have to start with the basics before the starting the basics you have to write all the important things to be done after setting the goal you have to start your practice number 1 is basics number 2 is your goal so if you there are different combination see there are different combinations of practice you can uh, for example i will tell you swaravali varisaigal one varnam one kirtana manodharma tattu varisaigal manodharma straight away then ragam dana palavi like that you can you know enhance your practice levels also but before practicing you have to set a goal that is very 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 important without setting a goal if you sit and practice then what happens is you know you you, you will practice so many things but at the end of the day you will feel like oh i have i haven't i haven't done justice for my practice so that that's what will happen this happens for everyone even for senior musicians they do practice for their concert but at the end of the day they feel like okay we haven't done uh, enough for our practice why this happens because you know for concert practice it is entirely different that's what i used to say to a lot of people like you have to mock your concert concert practice is entirely different mocking your concert is very very important before the concert you have to sit with the you know uh, concert costumes and you have to sing like you are in a concert likewise you have to sing at least four four times before entering to a concert then the fifth time when you enter into the stage 
it will be something like you can close your eyes and you can sing all the monodharmas everything you need to practice so concert practice is entirely a different uh, ball game so practicing for peace something like lalita madam was telling for uh, if you want to practice for some peace something like that then what you need to do is you need to practice the basics that is very important and the sustaining in each note is very very important you can take shankara varnam alone that is enough you know you know, somebody will tell like you have to sing in uh, 72 melakarta ragas no not necessary you can take just shankara varnam ragam can sustain in each note why we are sustaining in each note you know to understand where the swaras are lying that is it if sa is there then re is the second note ga is the third note ma is the fourth note then where will be the next ma it will be in the four and a half position that's it if we term it as four then it will be in the four and a half position correct before five before the pa the second ma will be in the four and a half position so the identification of swaras will be easy if you sustain in each note so if even if you mix some other raga if you want to sing first you are singing in mohanam and the, the next you want to jump into you know bandhuvarali something like that you you will not feel like it it's very difficult something like that because you know while sustaining itself your mind will get used to that the placements of swaras so sustaining is one of the important things you need to do in your regular practice you can include that also you can include sustaining as your regular practice can anyone show how to sustain in each note can anyone do that yeah should you please yeah Yeah. Sure. yeah this is one way of uh, sustaining another way of sustaining is there i'll tell you that you have to take one breath and you have to sustain in one note full deep breath and sustain in one note for example you have, can anyone switch on the uh, prarthana shruti please sa
each note you can then you can take a small break re can take one breath and sustain in so can anyone do like that a long breath one note sustaining in one note yeah once again i i will decide the note you can sing ga it was not heard fully oh no oh, yeah but when reka was singing i i was able to hear it oh okay 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 for god there is no <laughs> fine fine so this is how you have to you know try to see any anyone want, want to try this one okay. sure sure so if for any uh, vocal music or any wind instruments the formula is you have to breathe in quickly and you have to breathe as much as you can and you have to breathe out slowly <laughs> this is the formula for yeah see you have to breathe out slowly this is for any you know vocal or any wind instrument so this is the formula you have to breathe in quickly breathe out slowly yeah the volume can be sustained only see in one swara you can increase the volume or you can de- decrease the volume that that is one separate practice actually so it is a nice question it is a sup- separate practice wherein you know for example uh, uh, can you switch on the shruti mm. pa can su- shruti cannot be heard fully yeah pa is in, is in the same meter now pa both are correct pressure pressure is more yeah yeah see you c- you can give that that's what we used to say the yetha irakkum it's that's what we used to say in uh, uh, tamil so the ups and downs the stress what we give valinam melinam also that is the right word valinam melinam 
for this for us. so vallinam melinam is very very important thing in music so the soft soft thing we give it for you know for the feel soft feel for 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 the hard things we used to give you no know, little bit you know yeah emotional expression emotional expression of the swara and the sahitya yes 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 sometimes emotions comes through the swara also in certain ragas no we we used to emote like anything so we need not uh, have the sahityams only the swaras that itself will do <laughs> so wherein you have to give more stress on this swara yeah uh, shrutis please yes correct you want to do that you want me to do that yaro ivar yaro enna vero yaro ivaryaro enna vero see it, it it all depends on how you know give that valina melinam that's it for any song this shruti is not suitable for me that's a different matter <laughs> but still i wanted to do that for you so uh, what i'm trying to say is you have to you know uh, give stress more stress on the swaras when it required so when it is not required if you give more stress on particular swaras then it will be harsh so when mellinum needs to be there you have to give softness so when vallinum needs to be there you have to give a little hard na there you can give the that uh, you know hardness ah even softness will do same sora two 
different emotions you will get you can try sing, <laughs> singing that <laughs> so any anyone else yeah 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 see one thing is sure sustaining a particular note or sustaining notes you need lot of you know breath capacity only if you have the breath capacity you can sustain more otherwise it will it will be difficult for you to sustain in a particular note so that will be improved slowly when you start doing it on a regular basis regularly if you start sustaining yeah that's what i'm trying to say initially you will you see initially you can have a sustaining chart you can have a su- sustaining chart wherein if uh, everyone can understand what i'm trying to say x axis y axis if i tell if you can understand yeah in x axis if, if you can write all the swaras sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa and in the y axis you can write numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can write even up to 100 or 1000 so sa if you sustain one time you can see the you know seconds how how many how many seconds is coming you can check the meter and if you have if, if it says 12 seconds then sa under 1 you can write 12 first time when i tried this sa it is 12 seconds like that you can make an entry on that maximum you can sustain up to uh, no no there is no it it depends on the individual level see see ah uh, what shiram yeah lung capacity <laughs> it all depends on the lung capacity and by yeah oh okay see emotion is not about you know getting uh, so you know hard feeling or so sad feeling something like that that is not emotional emotions emotions are different you know different emotions are there so emotions means it is something like it it has a different layers it is not only sad or happy it has lot of things spiritual everything it is a spiritual emotion so happy emotion sad emotion something like that so it it can be you know anything for that matter rasa lot of emotions are there so if it it all depends on how you you know uh, it it is not something like uh, doing a drama on stage we are not just doing a drama on stage we are just going to sing through our voice whatever maximum capacity we can produce the emotion we can do that some people may say that you know you have to act on stage so that is too much uh, that's what i i used to say but i won't say that is not wrong that all depends on the you know individual so some some people they may think like okay if we act on stage that will be more you know that reach reaches more so people act on stage also yeah 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 <laughs> yeah the even the taking that also it you know it differs from person to person it, it it's all perception only we we think that okay it's a drama but they think that okay that is very good uh, you know to em- emote uh, the expression something like that so i have i answered it properly anuradha 
so you got it presentation plus song presentation plus song everything everything raga bhava sahitya everything definitely so so that's why i told you in the morning itself you have to you know listen to uh you know legendary musicians music and then you have to start your practice session yeah please sri ram go ahead definitely there are ways to increase your uh, you know stamina first thing is no you need to have a good system of food your food needs to be uh, you know systemized you can't you know drink cold items something like that you can't take uh, cold items because that will you know, some people they may say that okay even if i uh, eat ice cream also that doesn't affect my voice something like that they used to say but we can't take the exceptions so we are we have taken music as our main profession or as it's a part of our life then we have to go according choose according to our choose the food according to our system according to our you know whatever we are, we are going to do like something like you know if you have uh, uh, sugar you have badam you have milk and if you want to prepare a very good pulao whether it is possible no the ingredients are for uh, you know badam milk or badam malwa and you can't prepare a pulao or biryani same thing if you want to improve your stamina or something like that you need to avoid certain foods and you have to increase the foods which have more alk- alkaline foods if you you need to take more so that is very very important yeah like can't in concert you are telling or in practice in general practice after 3 hours your your voice getting that's hoarse okay then you try to practice 2 and 1/2 hours instead of 3 hours and test whether you are getting the same hoarse that is the first point you have to do secondly the it has to be continued for 3 days and after the after 3 days fourth day what you have to do is you have to split two and a half day two and a half hours and the remaining half an hour after half an hour like see two and a half hours of practice half an hour gap half an hour practice then you have to check your horse whether you are getting that hoarseness yeah definitely you have to maintain silence maintaining silence is very important yes you have to maintain silence after that half an hour you have to try again half an hour if that is clicking so much and you are not getting hoarseness then you have to increase that half an hour after the 2 hours half an hour gap then you have to increase 1 hour so 2 plus 1 will become uh, sir 2 and 1/2 2 and 1/2 plus 1 will become 3 and 1/2 likewise or yeah yeah after that you can try 3 hours continuously then the horses will go yeah no problem yeah
i don't know it 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 all depends on the you know perception of the people only but uh, basically what you, you need to do is like how i told you like see if i have a concert in in the evening i if i want to sing for some 2 hours 3 hours my voice needs rest i don't need rest i can do whatever job you give if you ask me to go travel for some 50 kilometers also i can travel and you know come back something i can do but my voice it won't do that it needs rest as a whole as sai narsimhan i don't need rest but for my voice for, for for that concert purpose my voice needs rest so i have to respect my voice so that's why they don't talk before the concert or something like the you know for the whole day they don't talk to anyone else something because you know they want to store their voice capacity anu anuradha come again prarthana is telling like they don't usually talk or in 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 general oh in social no socializing is entirely no no socializing is entirely different uh, thing anuradha because you know social some people they don't like socializing yes exactly exactly so they don't they don't want to so the distraction main point is the distraction <laughs> they don't want to get distracted exactly exactly it is not only about the capacity anurada it is something like you know the perception if if i feel like you know i if i talk more i i i lose uh, you know i'll get distracted or something like that if i feel so much definitely i won't talk so if i have the feeling like uh, if someone else if someone is coming and you know smiling at me and if i smile i if i say like hello something like that and if i talk to them i i may get distracted in my concert something like that if i feel definitely i won't do that because i have a strong opinion on that so my main goal is to you know do the concert successfully for that if some hindrance if i feel that this is going to be the hindrance how will i do that definitely i won't do that so that too if i have a strong opinion that this is going to disturb my concert i won't do that yeah definitely surely <laughs> yeah A- any more doubts yeah yeah this is the one important question you know everyone ask themselves like how long i need to practice first you need to switch off your time before practicing so that is the best thing you have to do because what what happens is see our goal always goes with the time it never goes with the music at the end of the day what we used to say is 9 to 10 is my practice time 8 to 9 is my practice time no what you have practiced that is important <laughs> it is not the time which is important the hours which is not important even it may be you know 5 10 minutes also 
or 15 minutes also 20 minutes after doing the basics whatever goal you have set if you have done that properly then your practice is done that's it or if it takes 3 hours for your goal to get satisfied then you have to practice 3 hours so it all depends on the individual and the goal goal setting everything so there is no minimum or maximum time to be set if you set that what will happen is it's not wrong but what will happen is you you will your focus will be on the time but you can have a regular uh, timing for your practice like after w- waking up say if you wake up at uh, some 5 am or something like that and uh, you know you finish everything and uh, come come at 5:30 something like that for for the practice and you start you know listening to a great music something like that for uh, some 5 to 10 minutes then you can start your goal for what purpose you are going to practice today and then you can start the basics and how i told you you can do all those things without seeing the time you can do that and uh, the, the, that if you want to do with numbers also you can do like how pratham was telling 20 times you can write 20 times one size over you can tick one like that also you can do so that your, your goal will be more precise and you'll be more happy after your practice also so the purpose of practice is solved yeah sustaining chart yeah Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah, yeah but his doubt was, you know, the, the hoarseness he gets after three hours of practice. So that's what I, I used to say. Yeah, yeah, before that stamina, yeah, yeah. இது 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 புரியல புரியல ஆமா ஃபீவர் ஃபீவர் வந்து சி இட்ஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் லைக் இஃப் யூ கோ டு அ டாக்டர் எப்போ நம்ம டாக்டர்கிட்ட போகிறோம் ரொம்ப முடியல நமக்கு இதுவாகும் போது தான் நம்ம டாக்டர்கிட்ட போகிறோம் ஸோ அதே மாதிரி சேம் திங் if you are not feeling well don't sing that's it that is the only solution why you want to force music into that don't force music music is a part of your life you have to practice practice ah illa illa see practice adha na solra practice vandu 3 hours for time fixation nradhu kedaiyadhu it's not about time fixing to fixing the time it is about the session how it goes you have to enjoy the session so you have to set the goal and if it goes 1 hour it's good 1 and a half hours good 2 hours good 3 hours also it's good only it is not about setting time i don't know 9 to 12 it is not about 9 to 12 if you are starting at some time and if it goes for 3 hours well and good it's nice only shall say yeah and one thing is sure in music regularity is very important if you miss the regularity you have to start from the beginning so that's how it goes so you you can't blame yourself like uh, you uh, have learned so many things yesterday given the three days before three days i was you know singing so nicely now i'm not getting this because you have left the practice <laughs> so the touch is gone 
so at least for the touch purpose you need to sing something like you know sustaining or something like that even for at least for 15 20 minutes you need to practice regular basis on a regular basis so it it has to be in the touch and the daily goals you have to do the daily goals if you do that it will be more interesting also for you also you try you, you try for the try this for one week and then let me know definitely you know you will start telling like oh, no, now i am enjoying the music more more, more than <laughs> previously <laughs> like something like that because you know like every everything depends on how you approach it if you feel it so difficult or you practice pannalame kaalile irundittu you practice pannalame like that if you feel like it will be very difficult if you feel like you know something if it is something like a part of life then you will start enjoying it first definitely see you you have to add one one kriti which you have missed to practice earlier in your daily practice you just make it like simply like uh, your goal needs to be like just to singing not to correct anything just to singing just the you have to set a goal like i am going to sing that kriti just just that i have not touched it earlier so now i'm going to make a touch that's it you make your goal simple so that you know you will not have any hard feelings even if you make mistakes in that song particular song so your goal needs to be simple it should not be complicated after you are confident with the song then you can make complicated goals like i have to go with more perfection more sangadhi something like that manodharma if you make complicated goals what will happen is you te- you will tempt uh, you know you lose the interest in other words because uh, five times 10 times you will try to make uh, every time we make mistakes no you just skip it so if it is it, it can be complicated I, i won't say it should not be complicated like whatever whatever goal you are setting you have to stick on to that now your goal is to you know make touch of those kritis so at this point of time you 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 can't see the m- more of the perfections you just you have to make a go like i'm going to touch those kritis not include it just singing then you can go into detail step by step yeah <laughs> oh okay so thank you thank you all so ta thanks for attending this uh, you know session with all your support it, it all went on really well hopefully so it may be i i hope that you it, it is very useful for you
सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच या थैंक यू ऑल दी बेस्ट या ऑल दी ऑल दी वेरी बेस्ट या टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय बाय